All right, what is up, guys? This is your boy Minor Forty Five here, and I uh, just finished up a sheath that I made for myself. I wasn't sure if anyone was gonna like uh, this Kydex that I bought because it is kind of more expensive than the black. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, anyway, so I decided to use it on myself, and uh, I think it looks kind of cool. I mean, it doesn't really match this knife, but you know, I was like, hey, I'll just try. I want to make a sheath for this knife for a while, so uh, let's give it a shot. But anyways, I decided to go try it. Uh, go outside of my bracket here and do a taco style sheath which I think is kind of more challenging and, and uh yeah I, I think it's more challenging it's it's a lot harder to do and I did uh, and making the sheath thought I messed up and was mad and had to lay it down and come back to it <clears throat> at a different time but I saved it and I think it looks pretty good um, I'll show you what I meant. Um, the hole is off, kind of off center. I'm not sure if I pressed it too hard in the press. That's why it did that. Um, but my foam is kind of wearing out too, so that could be it. Um, but it's it's off, but it still works. I mean, it looks fine. You can't tell unless you like look at it through here. And uh, yeah, it turned out pretty good though. And I used the heat gun and kind of saved it. It was really tight. I probably should have taped this knife off a little bit. But uh, I like it tight, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, dad jokes. Um, but yeah, it snaps in nice. No rattle at all. It's always a good thing. Huh? And it's super hard to get out. But I, I usually sit there and play with it. <laughs> dad joke again um so i kind of like it hard hard to get in and hard to get out you know plus i like the sound but it, it works pretty good and the thumb wrap this is my first time doing a thumb wrap i think it turned out great the heat uh with the heat gun there i mean that was my first try i've never done it before and uh it's pretty cool if it would focus that'd be nice huh I've been trying to hold off making videos because I planned on getting a new phone, but uh, uh, it's a long story with GearBest and all that, so uh, maybe that would be a separate video. Uh, GearBest is really screwing me over right now, so. But yeah, it's got a little, little belt clip there. This isn't the uh, name brand one, this is one of the Chinese ones, but they work just as good, really. I mean, I don't know. It has a lock on it, too. I think it does okay for what I do. You know, I kind of rotate my knives anyway, so durability-wise, I don't know how strong they are, but I did lose one of these clips here, but uh, the belt I have now, it came with two, so I only need one, so it's not a big deal. So if I lose this one, it's not a big deal. But anyways, that's pretty much it. This is the, in case the knife you were wondering, it's kind of a ND knife, it's the Dragonfly by Topps Knife. Forgot the guy that designed this knife, but uh, he's kind of irrelevant. I don't think a lot of people bought this knife, but uh, it's, it's alright. It's kind of a cool design, I think. This was the only knife that came with a left handed sheath, I think, in Topps line that you can convert over to left handed. This and the Cub, I think it was called. It's been a while since I looked on their website. But Tops does not make a lot of left-handed cheese, so yeah, it turned out pretty good. Anyways, uh, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Every subscriber helps. And uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh yeah, I might make a video update on my boots. So if you're here for that, stay tuned for that. Uh, I know one of the guys wanted, said he wanted to see my shoe trees that I picked out. And uh, I kind of cut the video off short there by accident. So maybe I'll make a video on that um, soon. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for more and peace out.